question is, how will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Bailsar's wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. Yes, sir. General Oldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Bailsar's wall. And what of the Primal and Omega? There is still no sign of either at this time. He writes that they will begin a more thorough investigation shortly. And, as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. As expected. The Alliance's decision to capture a part of Bailsar's wall is open to interpretation. The wall serves to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. Indeed. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are uniquely qualified to serve in this capacity. That is to say, leases, given her personal connection to the Resistance. Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. Of course I am! You know I'd like nothing more! As for who should accompany you on said diplomatic mission, I had a mind to volunteer myself. Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? Thanks. It means a lot knowing you'll be there. I too shall accompany you. Such endeavors are seldom hampered by a surfeit of healers. Good point. Allow me to offer my services as well. I have spent quite enough time here of late, so I'll be coming. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. I trust you have no objections? None, my lady. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands, and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, there are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion, on account of which... I mean to stay. It is settled then. Let us each see to our preparations. Ready, my friend? Well then, Tataru, I leave the rising stones in your capable hands. Don't worry, Alphano. I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back.
Mistress Yishtola has unfolded all. You are bound for Girabania? Aye. The Alliance would have us make contact with the Alamegan Resistance as soon as possible. It begins then. As soon it shall in Doma, if the gods are good. It is but a pity it must be now. I am sorry that we shall not be present to fight beside you in the battles to come. You have stood with us countless times, Lady Yugiri. Pray do not apologize. Then let us thank you instead. You and yours stood with us from the first, when we came to this land as refugees in search of sanctuary. Loath am I to think what might have become of my people, had you not extended to us the hand of friendship. Much has changed since first you set foot on these shores. Revenant Told stands as a testament to that. I am sure your people will manage in your absence. Indeed. They have built a new home for themselves and no longer need me to shepherd them. The time has come for Kosetsu and I to return to our master, to our home. I know how you feel. It's time I went home too. Though our battlefields be a thousand miles apart, our purpose is one. Let all men hearken to the clarion call of freedom, of liberation, from Eorzea to the Far East, that they may rise up and cast down the curse of Garlemald. Take care, you hear me? When all of this is over, we're going to celebrate, together. Just you wait. I should like that very much. Fare you well.
I remember crossing the border, standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow scions, the warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning. But one that could only be bought with flames and blood.
I remember the old stories. How the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth with a single blow. Ralga's Reach, a holy place and a fitting home for the Resistance, for the brave and the true, the loyal sons and daughters of Alamigo. They were waiting for us there, men and women whose souls still cried out for what was lost, for what could be ours again. Allow me to welcome you once more to Ralga's Reach, our humble headquarters. My name is Conrad Kemp, and I have the dubious honor of overseeing operations here. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Kemp. I am Alfino Leveilleur of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, as are my comrades. Before I speak of our purpose here, pray allow me to thank you for sheltering Ida, forgive me, Lise, and Papalimo at great risk to yourselves. No, no, there's no need for that. They risked their necks for us enough times. It was the least we could do. I... I wanted to... Um, I mean, about the mask and... Ah, oh, don't fret over that. You're not the first person to take up arms against the Empire under a false name. We'd do the same if we had any sense. My condolences for your loss, child. Papalimo laid down his life to save us, to give us a chance to make a better future for ourselves. There will never be a better time to drive the Garleans from our lands. But we have to take the lead on this. We can't leave it to fanatics like Ilbert. More than a few of our people were taken in by his promises. Followed him all the way to the wall. Good men and women who never came back. When Monago told us what had happened, 
How the bastard had made sacrifices of them for his twisted ritual. By Volker, it filled me with an unholy fury. But what's done is done. Best we can do now is see that it wasn't all in vain. That is why we are here today, sir. To see that some good comes of this tragedy. On behalf of the Eorzean Alliance, we do hereby extend a formal offer of military assistance to the Alamegan resistance. Do you now? Well, go on then. I'm sure there's more to it than that. So that's the way of it, eh? The Alliance, hoping to avoid a direct confrontation with the superior forces of the Empire, wishes to engage them by proxy with our vastly inferior ones. My comrades and I must confer on your proposal. A moment, if you please. Of course, Master Kemp. Take all the time you require.
Thank you all for waiting. We have reached a consensus. I, Conrad Kemp, do hereby accept the Aorsian Alliance's proposal. You must understand, however, that our cooperation comes with certain caveats. Those caveats being... I take no joy in this, just so you know. Were it within my power, I'd offer you more assistance. But the resistance is far more fragmented than you realize. The men and women in my care belong to but one of many factions. Simply put, I can only speak for the people of Rolga's Reach. Now, I have every intention of appealing to the others, and I expect many will agree, but it will take time, and I cannot guarantee universal support. Understood. I shall see that the Alliance is under no misapprehensions as to your position. Much obliged, but that's not the whole of it. As you can imagine, the loss of those who cast their lot with the Griffin left us short on numbers. Some of our most trusted veterans died at the Wall, and we've had to fill their posts with the young and inexperienced. Frankly, everything's in a right bloody mess. Oh, we'd be more than happy to help you get back on your feet. If we're going to work together, we'll be doing ourselves a favor. Well, there's no shortage of work to be done, that's for sure. We're in dire need of new blood, too. Ishtola and I could lend a hand in the infirmary. From what I saw, they could do with a few more healers. Very well. I, for my part, shall return to the Rising Stones. I'm certain there are others among the Scions who would welcome the opportunity to fight for Alamegan liberation. Um, is there anything else we can do to help? I had something else in mind for you, Lot. Monago and Mefred will tell you more. Understood. We won't let you down. <laughs>